Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be seeing what is the least amount of RAM that we can get Windows Millennium Edition to run on. Previously, I've done things like Windows 10, Windows 8.1, and Windows XP. However, Windows ME is the oldest operating system we've now tried this on. The minimum requirement of RAM for Windows ME is 32 megabytes, and if you remember from Windows XP, that is the lowest that we could get Windows XP to run on. So in this video, we're going to see what is the true minimum that we can get Windows ME to run on. Will it actually be the recommended minimum? of 32 megabytes, or can we go down to something like 16 or even 10? In this video, we're going to be finding out all of that. So right now, this virtual machine, I have it set up with 128 megabytes of RAM. Not sure why it says 127. And just like we've done in previous videos, we're going to start slashing this memory amount in half. So we're just going to go ahead and shut down the virtual machine, and then we're going to lower this amount down to strictly 64 megabytes. Now again, the minimum is 32, so this should boot up and work just fine. It may be a little bit slow and unstable, but we're, we are still 32 megabytes above the minimum requirement. So automatically, ScanDisk is running. However, I think that's because I forced shut down the operating system. I'm not sure why my background is this. I did some messing around with the background before the video, and I think I messed something up. But all right, we are back in here on the desktop, and we are at 63 megabytes of RAM. Not sure why there's minus one there. Um, and everything is running just fine. Now that we know that this works, and everything actually runs as well as it did on 128 megabytes, Let's go down to the minimum of 32. Now the guest OS recommended minimum on VMware is 64 megabytes, but Microsoft says it can run on 32. So let's go straight down to 32. All right, now that we are at 32 megabytes, we can go ahead and see it, 31, okay. And everything seems to still be running pretty smooth. Um, all the animations are running, and then we can just add stuff. Oh, my numlock was off. Okay, I mean everything seems to be running smooth. This is the minimum for Windows, and we can probably even play some whatever this is, new game. Yeah, that works. So far, I mean everything works. We are going to go below the minimum. And instead of just going by twos, we're just gonna drop slowly. So let's go from 32 just to 28. And let's just see if this makes a difference. All right, so we are now running below the recommended amount of RAM for Windows ME at 27 or 28 megabytes. And while these animations are a little bit slower and a little bit more choppier, I mean, I mean everything seems to run pretty fine. Um, I don't see any reason why you couldn't use this. Obviously, we're not going to go on the internet because we have to do the MSN internet access thing, and I really don't want to do that. So things are starting to slow down a little bit. I mean, just opening the Internet Explorer, I mean, it takes a while and does that. So we are getting to Windows ME. It is slowly slowing down. Now let's go down in increments of four. So now we're going to go from 28 down to just 24. This is definitely going to be interesting to see. I really don't think Windows ME is going to boot past 16. So let's find out. All right, so... Our desktop is taking a little bit longer than expected to load in, but here we are. And it runs exactly like it did with 28 megabytes. So Windows ME, although being very buggy and very unstable, is actually somewhat of a lightweight operating system, especially for today's standards, considering the fact that we are literally running on 23 or 24 megabytes of RAM, depending on how you look at it. Let's drop down to 20. I feel like that's the only acceptable thing that we can do right now. Go straight to 20 megabytes. All right, so going down to just 20 megabytes, I really don't think we're gonna make it past 16. However, based on how we're performing right now, we might actually get past 16. Windows ME is taking an unnormal amount of time to boot, but we're here. Our mouse is moving and it is taking a long time to load our login screen. But we are logging in right now and our active desktop should be loading and we are here. This is 20 megabytes of RAM. Now if we go ahead and just open applications, just click stuff, yeah, everything runs. So again, taking a look at this, we are at 19 megabytes of RAM, which I don't know how low we're gonna be able to get. I really just wanna try dropping it down to four, but we can't do that yet. Let's try my prediction of 16.
Again, it is running scan disk even though it was properly shut down. However, we are loading in the Windows ME. Our desktop is taking a little bit longer to load. Our desktop clock just took a really odd time, uh, odd amount of time to load. But everything, once it is started, it just seems to work. Um, our highlighting is a little bit slow and we can I can definitely notice things are slowing down finally at just 16 megabytes of RAM and that's interesting we're at exactly 16 megabytes of RAM in system properties as you know before it, my, it subtracted one for some reason not entirely sure why but we are actually at 16 megabytes and everything is still usable with half of the minimum RAM so again we're just gonna test the calculation it works just fine. I think it's time that we go down to 12. So taking our RAM down to 12, right here, it's not an option, we just have to put it in the middle. Going ahead and click OK and powering on the VM. I would be really surprised if this boots, considering this is under half of the recommended minimum. We are seeing that this is taking a little bit longer to load and boot up, um, but we're here. It's booting up right now on 12 megabytes of RAM. I truly believe that if this boots on 4 megabytes of RAM, I am going to be really shocked. We are running 12 megabytes of RAM, Windows Millennium Edition. Everything is extremely slow right now. Like if I just try to open Movie Maker, or sorry, that was Media Player, not Movie Maker. Uh, it loaded. I mean, it's dragging around Windows is extremely laggy. I definitely would not want to use this, but it's running. And it's play, it was playing a song, it's probably going to get me copyrighted, so I'm going to take that off of here. And you just see how long it takes to open and close stuff. But now we're going to go to 8 megabytes, and if this works on 8, then I am going to thoroughly be surprised. Alright, so going ahead and lowering this to 8 megabytes. Um, could we actually go to 1? No, it must be 4 or more. So we're going to just stick with 8 and go ahead and run this virtual machine. If this boots, which it is, it's booting. This is gonna be painfully slow, I believe. I believe this is gonna be really slow and definitely a little bit annoying to use and annoying to test, but we're at our desktop. I think it's, I really think this is gonna make four megabytes. The most unstable operating system that Microsoft has really ever released is running on eight megabytes of RAM. Not very well, as we can see, I click the start button down here and it is, kind of having a hard time opening on this amount of RAM. Um, my highlights are being weird. It's refreshing the desktop every few seconds. Um, opening a calculator, this is painfully slow. Uh, turn on my numlock, 65 plus 65. Still does that. Let's just take a look at our eight megabytes of RAM. Now, just so you know, there are no modifications made to this operating system. This is your standard Windows ME copy. And the only thing that I've installed is VMware tools to get the full 1920 by 1080 resolution. So there has been nothing changed to this operating system. I didn't think we'd make it this far, but this is as low as we can go. We can only go to four megabytes of RAM. So, I mean, we can try it. If this boots, I'm going to be shocked. I really don't think this is going to boot, but it is a fault error. A fault has occurred causing a virtual CPU to enter the shutdown state. If this fault had occurred outside of the virtual machine, it would have caused the physical machine to restart. The shutdown state can be reached by incorrectly configuring a VM, guest operating system, or problem. I think we have finally bricked it. Not bricked up. So it is booting. Uh, we can try safe mode, but no. Windows Millennium will not boot with 4 megabytes of RAM. Uh, I don't think we can give it 6. No, it must be in 4. So if we go with 8, I bet you we can boot Windows ME on 8 megabytes, but it will not boot on 4 megabytes. So again, just going to choose normal mode. It should hopefully boot up if we get out of this screen. Hopefully I didn't corrupt my copy of Windows ME, but... I did not. So four megabytes, it will not boot, but it boots on eight megabytes, which I find a little bit interesting. This was a really fun experiment. I feel like we learned a lot about Windows ME considering the fact one of Microsoft's most unstable operating systems is running on eight megabytes of RAM. And so with that being said, thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, experiments like this, and things like device restorations.